Monica, if we could go next to how uh, the term fractals, the phenomenon uh, of fractals comes into your approach, your practice, your praxis. And then perhaps after that, we could focus in on the education of practitioners. Uh, there are great theorists and there are great practitioners and we mostly don't get to meet the great practitioners. I think you are one of them. Um, and you are, you, and, I'm, and a lot of your attention right now is in educating practitioners. So that's where at least my mind is going uh, and back to you. Fractal is a construct of nature. It simply means, and it's used in mathematics, it simply means a pattern that repeats itself. I believe the next social movement is going to hold emergence with two arms, huh? what we spoke about. So the fractal has a pattern. So snowflakes are like fractals, right? So because they have a pattern that repeats itself. So a fern, a leaf is a fractal. Each part is a fractal of the whole. So the big leaf looks like the little ones that look the littler ones and look like the littler ones. It's not a hologram. It's a pattern that repeats itself. In this work, because we want to level the playing field and create a post-privileged world, we are very clear that we, we work with every human being with that openness to learn ourselves and an and, and openness for others to learn. That fractal has three components. It has a component which says, who am I as a gift for this world, my greatness, my universal values? And we are very clear that's not the position. And we are very clear we don't need to brag. It's about who I am as essence. And I know it's a wordless space, but that's the part of the fractal. Then the next part of the pattern is, what is my mindset like? How do I think? And am I able to influence my thoughts from who I am with that freshness of being in the now? Then the fractal is one thing more. It's not good enough to be a think tank. I need to be a do tank kind of thing. I need to do something. So doing includes speaking. It includes doing at home and in my workplace and in society, because how I lead at home influences how my children will grow or my family or how I relate to my, my family, however. So the fractal is this.